we're going to reapply some grease, real thin coating of grease right here at the base. That's where the bearings are going to ride. And then right here, right before the splines start, right about there, you can kind of see a little shiny or polished area. Throw a little grease. And you can throw some on your splines as well. That's where the uh, crank arm is going to land. A little bit there and a little bit here at right near the chain ring. So these orange guys right here, these are basically dust covers. Um, it's, it looks like it's rubber and it is, but it's also metal. So it's metal inside with encapsulation over it. So what they did here is they put a liberal amount of grease here and slapped it back on here. And what that's gonna do is uh, create a nice dust barrier so no dust can get to the bearing. And this actually sticks and stays in, this, in place because of that grease. So you're doing that for both sides. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and install. Beautiful. Go ahead and give that a tap, a little love tap. And we got the other side. So here's that little metal dust cover. Go ahead and push that back on. So this should be set perfectly to this frame. It's a 73 millimeter wide uh, bottom bracket. <clears throat> the uh, opening of that bottom bracket shell is I believe 46 in diameter. So no spacers or anything like that should be necessary. We're gonna clean this guy off as well. So takes all the guessing. We're just gonna put this in the right orientation. Slide that on. And then the end here looks perfect. So this is good. This is what we want. This is on there nice and firm. So we're looking at this silver portion. That's the actual shaft that came through the frame. And then this little ridge right here, we have about a millimeter or two. Uh, that's great, that's what we want. So <clears throat> the actual spindle or shaft is not coming in flush, it's just sitting just below. And then we're gonna go ahead and put on our plastic uh, preload cap. Try fingers first, there we go. And this one is not very tight. You just wanna get this fairly snug, uh, maybe just like that, not too tight. Maybe a little bit more for good luck. Yeah, felt like it. What that's doing is it's bringing both crank arms together, sandwiching it in the middle so there's no play. If you have play, your crank set's gonna slide side to side just a little bit. So you can give it a test. You can pull on this arm, trying to go that way side to side, this way, nothing. You could try the other arm. That feels great. Give it a spin. That's spinning pretty good. And there's gonna be a little bit of resistance. We do have new bearings. There's new grease in there. Things have to move around. That feels great. There's no tight spots, there's no grittiness, just like new bearings should feel. Once you got that, then we can go ahead and spin that down. Then we have this little plastic clip. Over here, that's that safety clip. I'm gonna push it down. It's sticking in the up position. It's gonna push that down. That was really small, you might not see that. Should be sitting flush, should not be sticking up. Uh, if it gets messed up, a lot of these get bent because a lot of people don't know about it. So the pin gets a little bent so it's not sitting correctly. You can always take it out. Again, it's just a, it's a minor safety precaution. Uh, Shimano threw in there, so if you don't have it, um, th everything will still operate. So you got pinch bolt here, pinch bolt here. We're gonna tighten these up uh, systematically, just gently tightening one side. Go over, gently tighten the other side. We're gonna go back and forth until we raise our torque setting up. So most of these have a sticker, like right here, uh, tightened to 12 to 14 Newton meters. So I kind of have a rough idea of what that is. So I'm gonna take all the looseness out first. I'm gonna get them snug a little bit here. So as you tighten one side, the other side kind of expands open. So this bolt's a little loose. As you tighten this one, then that side gets a little loose and we're just slowly bringing the tension up left and right side. If we do one side too much, all it does is it's just going to potentially going to warp whatever component you're working on and uh, prematurely fatigue it and you end up with a crack or some type of failure. We're going to finish this off uh, with a torque wrench and we're going to put it, if it calls for 12 to 14, we'll probably pick something in the middle. So this here is a torque wrench, it's the TW5. Going to line up that red line with we're gonna to go to 13. And when in doubt, if you don't know if your torque wrench is working, you dropped it or it's old, start out very, very low. Maybe start out with five, six, seven, and then go ahead and turn, use some common sense. Turning lightly, it should get you a click. Slowly work your way up, use that common sense and uh, can't go wrong. Same thing, we're gonna turn a little bit on one side and you wanna grasp on the lower part of the handle. So that right there, the head, head actually pivots and it's up to you to stop. As Soon as it pivots, you stop, because you could actually continue to over tighten. So as long as it moved, if it turned and then clicked, you're good, like it's turning. And click right there. I'm gonna go back and check again. As you tighten this side, the other side may have, may have just loosened up naturally. Turned, 
and then it clicked. So you want to continue doing this until you just get a click immediately. Like right there, that clicked immediately. And this side clicked immediately. So that tells me I had about, about 13. That's on nice and tight. You can do a little test by grabbing the arm here, moving it side to side, or trying to see if it moves side to side. So there's no play there, it's nice and tight. Spins backwards pretty good, spins forward pretty good. So you're in good shape there, we're all done with that. Um, if you want, you could always go back to this. Yeah, you can check, grab here, see if you get any movement side to side. If you do, you're gonna have to uh, loosen these two pinch bolts, tighten up your preload adjusting cap just a little bit, just to snug it up, and then go ahead and retighten these guys. 